Hello everyone! Day 4 of Advent of Code is here, so let's get started solving those two puzzles, shall we? Right, we have day 4 here open and let's read the problem description. So today we will be dealing with scratch cards. Uh, so here's a backstory for it a little bit. And Okay, a lot of backstory here. So we got uh, some scratch cards as a gift, uh, but no, don't know if we have won or not. And we have to help the elf determine if uh, they won or they didn't. So there is a list of winning numbers and a list of numbers that we have picked. And we have to organize that information to figure out if we won or we didn't. And right, the first match makes the card worth uh, one point, and each match after the first doubles the point value of that card. So we have a sample input here so 41, 48, 83, 86, 17. So we have uh, this one is a match, this one is a match, this one is a match. So there seems to be three matches on the first row, or no, actually more. Uh, 48, right, 48, and 17 is there as well. Okay, so so five matches. So there's a lot of matches. So actually it won all the, all the numbers. And, right. All right, it makes sense. This seems to be a simple thing. And basically the winning is then a power of two based on the number that was picked. So, uh, Card one is worth eight points because we have five winning matches. So first and double. Okay, so it's just doubling. So it's not uh, not uh, doesn't mean that it's uh, power. It's just doubling that doubles the point of point value uh, of that card. Mm -hmm. Right, that makes sense. So it's one for the first match, then two for two matches, four for three matches, eight for four matches. All right, that makes sense. Okay, so uh, then we can get started probably on that implementation uh, because this seems pretty straightforward. This could be uh, quite reasonable just hash map matching of the numbers in the first part and, and the second part. So I'll put the input here and then we go with, uh, we try to figure out the implementation for it. So, all right, so we will use our input tools to read all lines of the input. And, put, and then we will go line by line and read that line based on the structure here. So we'll split it uh, first by the colon to get just the second part and split by the, uh, uh, well, how is it called? This this uh, vertical line, yeah, I, I blanked it. So just the vertical line, then split it and then get the numbers and then uh, find the matches. So I will do, do a for each. Um, input and then uh, the resulting points should be like a total of the points that we get for the winnings. So it's we just sum it up. So so that should be a running total. Now let's do a long running total. I usually use long just to be safe. Uh, we don't overflow uh, that easily, even though it shouldn't be a pro problem in in. Uh, in um, in this case, or like the the, the the values shouldn't be that that large, I think. So now we uh, take the line with uh, parts, we split it by uh, the colon, then we split uh, a number. 
numbers. Uh, oh, how is how we call it? Uh, well, it's well, num all numbers. So it's numbers. We split the part one by that vertical line, and then we have picked numbers. It's gonna be parts uh, numbers zero uh, split by a space and we use this to remove empty entries just to be safe and we can uh, trim entries as well and then we do the same thing for uh, for winning num uh, our numbers and uh, while we are at it we can also also uh, uh, also uh, parse the numbers, so select and parse. This way we also parse the numbers, put it into an array, so a kind of wordy line, so I will make it more readable this way. So select, we split the numbers, then, then parse them and then put them in the array. And the same thing we do for the other part. Well, it could be a method, but whatever, it's just a simple code. Uh, so now we um, construct a... So now we can just intersect those two, uh, two arrays and get the, the size of the intersection. So matches. Match count is going to be pick numbers, intersect our numbers and count. So we get the number of matches. And then what we need to do is um, that we need to calculate that uh, that winnings. So it's gonna be running total plus equals and it's gonna be math dot pow uh, match count minus one, correct? So if we have zero uh, winning, so if match count is uh, zero, then we continue. If it's gonna be one, we should get number uh, the winnings as number one and if if there are two matches we should get two so it's gonna be uh, two minus one is gonna be one so so two and so on so that seems to be reasonable uh, assumption so i will do so actually we can do it like this even better so we so this is exactly exactly uh, exactly this so we get power off and it should be hopefully working so uh, right shift is that right well we can check it uh, while it's executing so for the first line we should get four matches yes and uh, running total should be uh, it's zero here so it's not working this way uh, because why Oh, maybe it just has precedence here. Um, I'm not completely sure here. It's been a while since I used right shift, so no. Oh, right, right, right. It's um, completely different direction, so it should be left shift. Yes, so that's 16, but we should have eight. So it's because we are, ah, right, because we, are, we have to start with number one, uh, that's the, uh, that's the reason. So now we're, we will be multiplying one, we get eight. So it's going to be two to the power of three, which is eight. All right. So that should be hopefully, uh, hopefully it. now we can let it run and we should get the output of 13, which is the correct result. So now let's try it on the big input and hopefully we will not overflow anything and the result should be 23,673 so let's confirm if it's correct and it is correct so we have the first part of the problem solved so that's a good progress so now let's take on the second part as well so just as we are about to report 
our findings to the elf, we realize that the rules are actually printed on the back of every card of all time. So there is no such thing as points. Instead, scratch cards only cause us to win more scratch cards equal to the number of winning numbers we have. Specifically, we win copies of the scratch cards below the winning card equal to the number of matches. So if card 10 were to have five matching numbers, we will win one copy of each of the cards, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Copies of the scratch cards are like normal scratch cards, have the same card number as the card that we are copied. And if we win a copy of card 10, we have it is a five matching numbers. It would then win a copy of the same cards of the original card uh, 10 won. So uh, we basically process the original card plus its copies as well. So here uh, we can check the sample. So card one has four matching numbers. So we win one copy of each of the next four cards. Card two, three, four, and five. We now have two copies of card two which is two matching numbers, so we win one copy of card three and four, and the copy wins a copy of three and four. The four instances of card three now win four copies of four and five because it's a uh, two matching number, so we have, uh, we are winning four uh, cards four and five, and we have four instances of card three, so we have four copies of four and five, and so on. So it basically just adds up all the time until we run out of space for cards. <laughs> uh, so let's let's try to implement this thing. Uh, so we uh, I've already copied the uh, program from part one uh, here and to the input as well. So now let's implement uh, the sample input here. So let's try to adjust our code to to this new reality of things. So I will probably uh, we'll need to count the number of, uh, like keep the number of cards somewhere. So I will create a card counts array, which will be new end. And I will put it after here. So we know the number of cards. So length is the number of uh, cards we have. And we will initialize this to, to ones because we initially have uh, one card of each card count i equals one so we have one card of each now we will need to maintain the number of cards somehow so this calculates the matches <coughs> uh, we don't need the running total anymore because we need don't care about the number of points we just care oh we just care about the number of cards we have. So we, instead of, we just remove this. And now we have, we are, we have the match count and that decides how many cards we get, how many cards of the following ones we get. So basically for, um, we have, we can have a this for loop here and we can then do something like card count of we need the number of the current card so card id equals zero also we can we can replace this with a for loop so card d so we can do card I, this is the current card plus one is the next card plus i would be the um, one that corresponds to the, ma the given match we are processing. And then we just increase that number by the number of copies of the current card we have. So the current card is the card ID and this is the count of that card we have. So technically this should be enough. We just need to output the total of the cards that we get with this approach. So we get sum and a six is not enough definitely so what's wrong here uh, we can uh, we can actually check here what happens after first run we have one 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 oh after first one we have only ones here and we need oh right ah, of course uh, we
Oh, that's weird. So we didn't add up the cards here for some reason. So we have match count four. Card count is initialized once. And if I go inside, oh, because I'm not equal to, but plus equal. That's correct. So this way, this should be fine. Hopefully now it should be the correct result. 30, so it seems okay. So now let's try this on the big input and we confirm or we'll see if it works or not. Okay, so this big number, let's see. Hopefully I didn't overflow integer somehow, but all right, that's correct. So, all right, we have resolved both parts of the uh, day four. So we are one step closer uh, to helping the elves restore Christmas. Oh, very nice image here uh, starting to be created. So I thank you for joining for this session. I hope you uh, got inspired maybe for your own solution. And tomorrow I will be back. I'm not sure when exactly because I will be traveling, but hopefully I will manage to uh, do the problem five either on the airport or somewhere uh, along the way. Uh, but again, thank you very much for uh, joining. Subscribe if you want to get notified about future videos. And I will also publish in another video of AI trying to solve this same problem. So we'll see how AI will fare this time. Uh, you can leave your uh, guesses in the comments so we, we can see if you were right or uh, the AI uh, had more problems or less problems. We'll see. And again, thank you very much. Keep coding and see you tomorrow.